<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are some who call me Felix Jones, mentalist. But Mr. Jones calls himself Felix Jones, <laughs> mental ish. <laughs> For those of us who practice mentalicity, it is our profession to plunge into the transpersonal to discover what makes each of you tick talk. Which Mr. Jones will now do with this technique once used for discovering hidden psychic talent used by the high priests and priestesses of Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt in this bag. The magician's favorite magic bag, by the way, Crown Royale. <laughs> Mr. Jones has five marbles. One, Black Eclipse. And four, Venus Moons. Mr. Jones will pass amongst you. And one of you, or several individuals, will put your hand into the bag and pluck one and only one marble from the bag. You will also refrain from seeing what color marble you have by keeping it closed tightly in your fist, all right? You look very scared. <laughs> Let's go to you first, darling. Remember, don't look at it, right? Go look at it. Now, all of you hold out your fist like so. Now you may not think that you know what color marble you have in your hand. However, your true psychic self will communicate to Mr. Jones which of you has the black eclipse by first revealing who holds the Venus moons. Mr. Jones is on. <laughs> <laughs> Venus Moon, open your hand. Venus Moon, open your hand. Venus Moon, open your hand. Let's show everyone. Yes, we have the Venus Moons. Correct. All right. You two. One of you is holding it, holding back. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Mr. Jones is feeling the strongest emanations flowing. You have the black eclipse and you the Venus Moon. Show us. Oh. 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 Very good, thank you. Dad, we're off to a fine psychic star. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, um, imagine if you would, you're having a lively conversation with someone and your cell phone rings. You look at it, you see that it's your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you go, oh God, it's the old ball and chain. <laughs> now, that's not a good sign that you found your soulmate. Now, you might ask, Mr. Jones, where can I find my soulmate? Where's your well, right here, naturally, at the Magic Castle. <laughs> but all it takes is a bit of psychic intu intuition, and brother, is this room pulsating with it. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Jones cannot find all of your soulmates, so we must narrow it down with a couple of little psychic tests. But uh, before we start, because of your intent gaze, tell us your name. My name is Lana. La Lana? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lana. Lana? <laughs> Mr. Jones knows what you are thinking, Lana, yes. Oh my god. And you're correct. He does have fantastic hair, doesn't he? <laughs> Lana, but you would be so good as to just hold this for a moment. We may come back to you. We don't know. It's for insurance. All right, for these little tests, Mr. Jones will uh, think of a two-digit number between 10 and 100 and write it down. All right. Let's see who now perceives this number. You call out the number. 51. You call out the number. 32. You call out the number. 85. You call out the number. 41. You call out the number. 16. You call out the number. 7. You call out the number. 
Well, sadly, none of you got it. <laughs> but surprisingly, even though it was supposed to be a two-digit number, you came the closest. It was ten. It was ten. But you, uh, you were off by three. Not, not bad, right? All right, let's try a different one now. Um, Mr. Jones will think of and write down a simple word. All right. Tell us, sir, do you honestly know what word Mr. Jones just wrote down? No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, it was 50%. Some audiences do better, some do worse. But perhaps now, Lana, it's time to read aloud the note that Mr. Jones gave you. Open it, read it in bell-like tones. <laughs> the gentleman will know the answer is the lady will know the number will be off by three. Oh. 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 Now, clearly you, clearly you and I are in psychic syncopation. So you need to self-levitate and join Mr. Jones. Let's encourage her. Tell us your name. Shannon. Shannon. Um, and Shannon, do you believe you found your soulmate? In short, you haven't. Uh, <laughs> because the identity of your soulmate is actually hidden in one of these envelopes. Now, what you will do, Shannon, is wave your hand over each of the envelopes and stop at the one that your psychic intuition tells you to, all right? Go for it. You sure? Yes. All right. Why don't you take hold of that? We won't open it just yet. Let's see who Shannon turned down. <laughs> Thrilling. <laughs> ah, the life of any party, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Everyone's favorite cracker, Jeff Sessions. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, good thing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that would have been tough. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Jones's slightly elder brother, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shannon, let's see who your yeah. soulmate really is. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be dreamy? Yeah. Oh, all right. Your soulmate is, if you would be so good as to read this aloud. So, bearded gentleman with the peacock tie. Oh. And would that be you, sir? <laughs> and is is she your soulmate? Is Shannon your soulmate? We have a match. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me take that. Let me take that. Thank you. All right, for this next demonstration, Mr. Jones does require a committee of three persons. But to discover who the committee will be, Mr. Jones will administer three simple psychic tests that you will all participate in. So for the first test, Mr. Jones will call out a number between one and three. But when Mr. Jones snaps his fingers, Mr. Jones will snap his fingers. You all call out a number between one and three. Ready? Now. Two, two six. three. Three. A little you. late, but you got it. <laughs> All right, now for this next test, when Mr. Jones snaps his fingers, call out the first color that comes to mind now. Blue. 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 Red. That's crazy. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> and now, finally, when Mr. Jones snaps his fingers, call out the first vegetable that comes to mind. Now, cucumber. Right. Right. What? Kale. 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 Rocky. 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 Again, all correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So, how many two out of threes? Raise your hand. Two out of threes. Yes. Well, some of you thought croutons was a vegetable, didn't you? All right. Any three out of threes? Any three? So, did someone Brian. Out three. That's Brian. One. Didn't you? You? Yeah, I think right here. You did, too. We need one more for this committee. All right. Yes, you, darling, you. Kindly self-levitate and join Mr. Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If you would all be so good as to just uh, take a little line up here. Yes, you too. Me too. Come on down. All right, well, I'm just going to sit here since you're not here. lady in the center. Very good. One of the ladies. There we go. Oh, oh, this is tough. All right. So you here, sir, there, and ma'am, over here. 
I'm going to say, excellent. Oh, we've got it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, you all appear to be well healed, ladies and gentlemen. And if Mr. Jones was the guest, which naturally he never does, <laughs> many of you are also well calloused travelers of the known world. <laughs> if you were to be asked what your favorite city is, you might say Paris or Rome or perhaps even Mr. Jones's own natal backyard of Sheboygan. <laughs> but wherever on earth. But wherever on earth it is, your memories and impressions of the place would be different from all of theirs. However, because we all generally self-identify with the human species, we also all share the same ocular impressions of the places we've been. So have any of you been to Paris? Yes. And, yes, yes, yes. You answered first, darling. And, and so what, what landmark about Paris do you recall? The Champs Elysees, beautiful. Also, the Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre, the Escargot. Uh, in Rome, have any of you been to Rome? Yes. yes. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> and what landmark about Rome would you recall? I forgot. What? How about you? Uh, the big Colosseum. Exactly, the Colosseum. Um, also, the Trevi Fountain, Vatican City, the unspeakable beauty of Sophia Loren. Um, Mr. Jones has about uh, 50 vintage cards, 51 if you include Mr. Jones. And, and each one is a postcard from around the world. So we've got uh, Brussels, and uh, Havana, and uh, picturesque Long Beach. Who knew? <laughs> All right, so what Mr. Jones is going to do is flip through the cards in front of each of you. You will randomly select a card simply by saying stop. I'm going to just uh, all tight up here. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, they're a little old and sticky like Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Say stop, stop. Down. Oh, right there, very fast. All right, don't panic, just All right, moving on. Your turn, darling. Uh, uh, stop. Mr. Jones, it at all. Happy for this. <laughs> All, right. All right, so your turn. Stop. Goodness. A magician member. All right, you may now all look at your card. Mr. Jones will turn away. Once you've done so, clasp it tightly to your bosom so Mr. Jones doesn't see what city you have. Now, you all do recognize your city, yes? It's a particular landmark you might have in mind for it. It perhaps is a picture on the card. Yes, sort of. All right, close your eyes. Let's imagine you've walked into a travel agency. You see a travel poster in front of you advertising the very city you have on your card. You step towards the poster, and like Alice in Wonderland, you find yourself magically in the city. You see the landmark in front of you. You reach out to touch it. Interesting. Still, Mr. Jones is getting the same image from all three of you, this uh, serpentine, wavy line. But he's getting something else from you. You may all open your eyes now. Tell us your name. Beth. Beth. All right, Beth. Mr. Jones is getting this image. Seagulls on the horizon of your city, Beth. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> that seems like a no. All right. Um, let's put in the mysterious undulating line. Ah, I connect a few dots. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this wavy line represents a waterway. It's a very famous waterway. You know immediately what city you are. It's the Nile River, where you would see the pyramids of Giza from Cairo. Is that your city, Beth? <gasps> yeah. Very psychic. Very psychic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. And now return. Now self levitate. <laughs> All right, and what's your name? Oh, Victoria. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jones is sensing right. trouble, Victoria. <laughs> we have something else planned for you. If you would be so good as to uh, draw your landmark, however, if you cannot draw it, then just print out the words of the landmark on this pad. Very good, very good. But then close it so that Mr. Jones doesn't see. We'll have you switch positions with this gentleman while you do that. All right, so just switch positions. And what's your name, sir? Uh, B. Ryan. Pause. B. Ryan. B. Ryan. B. Ryan. B. Ryan. B. Ryan. All right, B. Ryan. All right. So Mr. Jones is also getting a waterway from you, but it bisects the city in unusual fashion. Uh, there are boats in this waterway, uh, but hold on. B. Ryan, it, it's not. It's not these kind of sailboats. It's almost like 
barges, uh, canoes, perhaps a gondola in Venice. The suspense is over. <laughs> a gondola in Venice. Is Venice your city? Could you show it? Yeah. 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 Venice! Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, our little troublemaker. Oh, let's see. Oh. Sometimes, Mr. Jones does require a uh, physical connection to make a psychic connection. So just take a step closer. <laughs> Perhaps a little step closer. Put your hand on Mr. Jones' shoulder. Now, now, Mr. Jones knows what you're thinking. That's probably right. <laughs> Squeeze. Oh, yes, Mr. Jones is getting an ass. Um, so, this is still a bit of a muddle for Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones has seen tourists milling around. And, oh, hold on, hold on. Victoria, your image just went from the horizontal to the vertical. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Mr. Jones knows why. There's a very famous street in this city. It has eight hairpin curves. It's known as the crookedest street in America. It's called Lombard Street. But there's a more famous landmark there. Is there not, Victoria? What did you draw? Ooh, that's good. Uh, and golden yeah. Golden yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. Here you are. You may uh, cherish this forever. <laughs> There's also a trash can at the top of the stack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. So let's reward yeah. her. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for this uh, final demonstration, Mr. Jones does require one more volunteer randomly selected Yay! by Mr. Jones's nubile assistant, Bunny Bill. Oh. <laughs> now, should Bunny Bill fly in your general direction, <laughs> this is randomly selected. <laughs> Kindly receive him, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Good, 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 Adam. Adam. The bunny. Very good. What's your name? My name's Adam. Adam. All right, everyone, let's let's <laughs> agree. Yeah. 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 All right, Adam. Um. <laughs> Adam, uh, for this demonstration, Mr. Jones does need to borrow your abacus. Have you have your abacus on? Yes. Oh no. No, sadly forgotten. Is there an abacus in the house? <laughs> no, an abacus. Yes, abacus. Exactly. All right, we'll have to deal with one of these. Uh, one of these. A calculator. Adam, if you would kindly take that. Now, what we're going to do for this experiment is randomly generate a number. The first will be, Adam, if you could please put in the uh, month of your birth and then press times. And now put the day of your birth and press times. And now put your actual age and press times. And now, because we want this experiment particularly to Adam, could someone please call out the exact time right now? 827. 827 and then press equals. 827 equals. Mm -hmm. And what number did you get, Adam? 317537. 317537. 317-537. Does that have any meaning for you, Adam? You may answer no. <laughs> Does 317527 have any meaning for anyone here? No. No, it has no meaning for Mr. Jones either. We'll take the phone back. We'll come back to that perhaps in a little bit later. All right, so they say that um, free will elevates us uh, above the savage beasts. But what if um, free will is just an illusion of the mind? <laughs> oh, so cute. Uh, you, sir, do you see any particular duck here that you suddenly feel drawn to? The yellow one. The yellow one, uh, little Leslie. Now, no doubt you are unaware of the uh, myriad of subconscious factors that just influence your being more aroused by Leslie <laughs> than, say, by little Lulu. Whereas uh, someone like you might feel attracted to little Lulu simply because the light is hitting her in an attractive manner. Or for someone like um, you, <laughs> you might feel disinclined to poor little Pearl 
due to some unfortunate childhood episode that still haunts you today. <laughs> However, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's impossible to know all of the factors that influence our choices unless, of course, our choices are influenced, are orchestrated by fate. Now, to demonstrate, Mr. Jones must first get his ducks lined up in a row. <laughs> like so. All right, Adam. Um, Adam, is there a... Uh, are you someone who gets annoyed at all the odd little things in life, or are you more even-tempered? I'd say even. Even-tempered, so it would be two, four, six, eight. Good. Way they go. All right, Adam? Are <laughs> uh, you someone who must be right all the time, or do you not mind getting things wrong, a little left, as it were? I'd rather be right. You'd rather be right, indeed. I go to itsy and bitsy. All right, we're down to uh, Leslie. And Lulu, which shall it be, Adam? Choose for yourself. <laughs> Leslie. Leslie, for yourself. All right, hold on to Leslie. Now, Adam, did you feel in any way that Mr. Jones influenced you? He influenced your choices? Yeah. No. That's quite remarkable because you actually chose Mr. Jones's favorite duck. <laughs> <laughs> now, Oh. oh, oh indeed, but there's more. Now perhaps you are all still puzzling about this number, 317537. Now sometimes, Mr. Jones does know that what initially appears to be random is indeed your choice, Adam. <laughs> Take little Corinne. Oh, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jones has presented you just a few examples of mental initiative. Now, as you are self levitated, transport yourself around the Magic Castle, do know that the source of Mr. Jones's powers is not Mr. Jones. The source, ladies and gentlemen, is all of you. Thank you. Thank you.